Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. My name is Rebecca Ravenbird and today I'm going to be talking about the six new possible horse breeds that Wild Horse Islands is going to be adding. So in the Wild Horse Islands official Discord server, Trick posted a poll about the six possible new horse breeds. Remember that the newest horse breed that is coming on December 15th is going to be the Icelandic horse and then there's going to be another new breed released on March 22nd or earlier so we could get it before March 20th. Second, So Trick has posted this poll so that the community can vote on which horse that they want to see. So there are six new options and let's go ahead and get started with the Morgan horse. So the Morgan horse would be considered a common or uncommon horse. So kind of like the paint horses maybe or like the Mustangs where you'd see them pretty often on every island. And so the Morgan horse, I'm pretty sure they're kind of, you know, on the shorter side, kind of like the fjords are typically a little shorter. And I'm curious if they would kind of take the fjord model and let's see if I could pick out a quarter horse really quickly and see, see that. So the quarter horse and a fjord, they might, I'm wondering if they would cross uh, those two breeds. Oops, I'm falling through the world there. But um yeah, I'm curious because like the quarter horse has kind of like a longer neck, but the fjord is kind of on the shorter side. Um, I'm not sure totally what Morgans typically look like off the top, off of the top of my head. So I'm going to just um, put some pictures on the screen right now of what Morgan horses look like. So yeah, I'm curious on what they would look like. And my guess again is that they would be pretty, uh, pretty decently common. You'd find them pretty often. The next horse on the vote is going to be the Warm Blood. And so this is very interesting because if you also play Star Stable just like me, you will know that the Belgian Warm Blood and the Dutch Warm Blood are very popular in Star Stable. I'm planning on getting a Dutch Warm Blood actually because Star Stable did a fabulous job with them. But anyways, the two Warm Bloods that we have, right, the Belgian and the Dutch Warm Blood, are included in Trick's vote here. But Trick also added two other breeds, so the Swedish Warm Blood as well as the Bavarian Warm Blood. So these horses would be considered uncommon, so they would probably be like kind of like Andalusians or Thoroughbreds, where you don't see them quite as often, but they are around. So the Warm Bloods, I really like Warm Bloods in real life. I think the closest thing I have to a Warm Blood is like. I don't know, probably these Andalusians. But anyways, the warm bloods, my assumption is that they're going to be very like tall horses. They're going to be like working type horses. They'd be great for like show jumping and things like that. But yeah, I'm just very curious because, you know, it's very similar to Star Stable. Star Stable also has the Morgan horse and Star Stable has the Dutch warm blood and the Belgian warm blood. So I'm really hoping to see a Swedish warm blood or a Bavarian warm blood. The next horse on the vote is the Marwari. So the Marwari would be considered an uncommon horse or a rare horse. So probably like Arabian, Frisian level of rarity. And my guess is they would be found on like desert island the most because I think Arabians are typically, I mean, excuse me, not Arabians. Marwaris are typically found in hotter climates. So the closest thing I have to a Marwari is probably the Akalteeks, and I don't even have very many of the Akalteeks, really. So let's pick out this ghost Akalteek, which by the way, I'm trading. So my guess is Trick is going to take the Akalteek model and kind of rework it a little bit, and especially to get the curviness of the ears. Marwaris are known for their very curly ears. So Star Stable also has the Marwari, so the Marwari in Star Stable has a very long, flowing, kind of upright tail, so I'm curious if Trick would do that if the Marwari was added. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of Marwaris. I like them in Star Stable decently enough, but in real life, eh, I would prefer like some other warm blood breed. The fourth horse on the list is going to be the Trakener. So the Trakener is a horse that I really like in Star Stable, and they're also, I think, Aren't they considered a warm blood? I'm not totally sure if they're a warm blood or not. But um, the Trachoners, the closest thing I have, I guess, to a Trachoner is like this thoroughbred. So yeah, the Trachoners are kind of like tall, skinny warm bloods, I guess. Um, so I'm not totally sure. But anyways, the Trachoner would be very interesting because they, I think they would be good for like endurance and like cross country. So maybe they would have a lot of stamina and things like that. So the Trachoner would be considered an uncommon horse. So probably kind of like, you know, the thoroughbreds and the Andalusians where you don't see them quite as often, but they're definitely, you know, around and you'll find them at some point. 
Up next is going to be the Shagya Arabian. So the Shagya Arabian, let's see if I have any Arabians with me right now. Yes, so the Shagya Arabian. I don't know very much about this breed in real life, but um, I guess that a Shagya Arabian is like sort of a like a cross between like Arabian and some other working type horse. So maybe the Arabian, it wouldn't be quite as skinny as this, but it would still have the nice long, long tail like this, the very upright tail. So I'm curious to see if the Shaggy Arabian would win the vote and I guess this horse would probably be on like maybe desert island or maybe even forest island I'm not sure where this horse would spawn the most but this horse would be considered a rare horse so the Arabians already as they are those are pretty rare so also like the Frisians or Percherons those are kind of rare as well so the Shaggy Arabian would kind of fit in with that. The last horse on the vote is going to be the Orlov Trotter. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right but the Orlov Trotter is a gated horse I think. Uh, those are used in uh, trotting horse carriage races. I'm not sure what those races are called but I'll put some pictures on the screen. So these would be considered uncommon horses, so probably again like the Andalusian level of uncommon. So I don't think we have any horses that would represent that uh, super well. I think the... do I have any Frisians with me? I don't think I have any Frisians whatsoever in my inventory, so I can't really show you that. But the, my guess is that they would kind of have like a trot, like the Frisian almost. See, like the Arabian is not quite as high stepping, but the Frisian, I feel like, does step a little higher. So definitely, I think if the Orlov Trotter was added to the vote, people would use them with carriages a lot more often because that, that's what they're typically used for in real life. So let me know what you guys think. What horse do you want to be added to the game out of all of those six breeds that we just talked about? What horse are you most excited for? Please let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody!